this is insane. OOTs of the day. Guys, let's do some sightseeing. This is the bookshop. Good morning, guys. Happy Vlogmas day seven. I was up this morning at 5 a.m. washing my hair. <laughs> so that was a lovely start to the day. But honestly, a morning share at that time of the day, I feel like it really gave me a head start of like feeling awake and feeling not so like, oh, I could get into bed right now and just fall back to sleep. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. I need to open my advent calendar, but it is 6 a.m. and I am just getting ready. Me and Mia have booked to go to London today for like a Christmassy day. And I thought, what is better vlogmas than a trip to london the big city we're gonna go to winter wonderland we're so excited we love going to london together and we've never been we didn't go last year at christmas i can't believe it's a sixth already little ball six i gave me eating chocolate i say hell yeah so i hope you're okay bestie welcome back to the channel i hope you're enjoying vlogmas so far we're in for a very exciting episode this morning um this evening even i had to get up at five because i had to finish a bit of vlogmas editing for the tonight we're leaving in about an hour so luckily it takes me literally two minutes to do <laughs> i'm ready to stay luckily it takes me literally two minutes to do my makeup so um that's good i'm just gonna do my brows quickly and let them dry and then go in with the Primark bronze and drops. I need to wash my spoolies because you know when they get so coated in this like product. I also need to dry my hair so that's fun. So we're, we're a little bit you know at my phone. We're a little bit rushy but I'm trying not to rush because I get so bloody time anxious. I'm just trying to you know not get so stressed out but happy vlogmas day six i'm so excited for a day in london i'll let, talk to you guys a little bit more like when i'm ready and we're on the train and stuff but we're getting the train i think at half eight in from birmingham and then we're gonna get to london for about 11 and then our train home i think isn't booked until like half five so we've got a majority of the day i'm really excited we've booked to go to winter wonderland we've booked some activities in winter wonderland which is so exciting i'm just going to go in for the primark bronzing drops um i'm just really looking forward to a fun day out and instead of like doing like the usual just like shopping in london i'm gonna look a bit crazy when you first do them they have to like really blend out i only used these for the first time yesterday so i'm still getting acquainted with them but they give you such a nice glow i feel like i probably put a little bit too much on them but i might just put some down my neck because i haven't tanned for almost a week so looking a little bit paler than i would like to um what was i gonna say yeah i think we're gonna have like more of like a wholesome day like try and find some like cute like little calves and little spots and i really want to go to notting hill so i think we're gonna go there for a couple hours see if we can get some cute brunch and like have a little look around some christmas markets before we go to winter wonderland so i'm just really excited for like a bestie wholesome well make sure you wipe your hands after using the primark bronzer drops because that is not cute um yeah i'm just really looking forward to like a bestie day out right let me get ready quickly because if i'm talking to you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna faff i know i will so i'm just gonna get myself ready i'm just going in with the giorgio armani luminous silk and then i quickly just need to dry my hair um i'm gonna just try and dry it straight and then not have to do anything to it i don't really know what i'm gonna do about the bang situation i feel like my bangs have grown so fast i feel like i could do them cut and like I low-key would have them like shorter and more bulky because I do really like them they're just like obviously something to style which I've never had to do um because my hair would just dry really straight and it just sit really nicely but when you've got like short of it obviously I need styling but I would have them cut shorter but I feel like I need them cut again because they're like really long now my hair has grown so quick with them so I feel like I could definitely have them cut again. So I'm hoping if I just dry it, they'll just might sit nicely. Um, I think I know what I'm wearing. Oh, I really need to. 
I think I know what I'm wearing. Um, I'm thinking just like, a f oh no, it's like dried really weirdly on my eyebrow. I'm thinking fur coat, either like joggers or jeans with some leggings underneath so I'm warm. Long sleeve top, cardigan, Uggs, off we go. That is what I am manifesting the outfit. I'm hoping it looks nice, but to be honest, it's so dark, I don't even feel like I'll know. I should have really planned this last night, but I had such a busy night and day yesterday. I just couldn't, like, I just didn't get round to it. And then, yeah, I'm hating myself for that this morning. <laughs> but yeah, Mia's going to pick me up in about 45 minutes. So we really need to get the show on the road. Like I said, luckily I can do my makeup super quick, so that's fine. So let me do this and then... I will come back probably when I'm in the car with Mia because I'm going to be stressing. <laughs> okay, wait, I forgot that Mia got me in the jingle basket the Aldi Gazoo, Gazoo, whatever it's called, um, hair oil dupe. It's like meant to be like a honey oil. Um, so I've got to try it with you guys because it's literally from Aldi and it's such, it's like, it's a complete dupe. Like the pack down to the packaging, I, I mean, I imagine down to the ingredients. My makeup's done, like, it literally took me 10 minutes. I love that. I'm so glad I'm not a, um, oh, I've put my hair half off, wait. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not a girl that, like, my makeup takes like an hour and I'm just not. As long as I've got a bit of contour on, a bit of blush and my brows, like, I'm fine. Um, so, I'm, I'm fine. It's literally 25 past. All I've got to do is dry my hair. That'll take me, like, minutes run the straightens over it pick a fit and we're ready okay really like that can't really give you much of a review until it's actually dried but first impressions smells really nice it doesn't feel like super greasy smells unreal like really sweet and the packaging just looks gorgy so i love that right let's wash um, Let's dry the hair. I'm just going to dry it with the Beauty Works hair dryer and having this diffuser on the is it a diffuser? I'd, smoother diffuser like blows it up, doesn't it? But um, having that attachment on really helps like straighten my hair as I'm drying it because I do it like that and I feel like it just smooths my whole head. So over with a little bit of heat protect on each section and you are sitting on it but I'm just also going to put on this leave-in serum by L'Oreal just two pumps right guys we are here well we're not here we're in Birmingham <laughs> we're gonna get a prep because we're gonna get like something to take on the train and we thought we'd try a prepped matcha to see whether they do it because i googled it and i have one so we come to prep and then we've obviously got to run to the train so i'll tell you how it goes yeah they've got them we're gonna get water two almond croissants um a matcha two almond croissants do we do we, do we just go for two large ice matches yeah Please. Get, please, can we get these two? Two almond croissants, wonder. So two of this one, yeah? Yes. Then can we get two almond croissants hot? And then could we... Two almond croissants what? Hot. Warmed up, please. Warm it down, so sorry. Oh, okay, that's okay. Um, and then could we get two iced matches, please? We don't have any iced things, unfortunately. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry about it's that. It's okay. <laughs> you made the number. Right, guys, we're on the way. We've got a jar and a juice matcha. So good, especially with normal milk. Normal milk. It was like, good to be both, but... Yeah, could you use for like, mm -hmm. do you think it's better with normal? Yeah. If you can, if you're not dairy free. Because I, I feel like... I can imagine they right? For sure. I feel like even coconut would be better than coconut matcha. It just doesn't go. Like, oat is nice in coffee. Oat is not the best. I don't think it's matcha. Because matcha is such a, like strange taste anyway. They, yeah. just, they just don't flow, I don't think so. I think it's so much nicer with normal milk. We really love it. Um, like, it's better than Starbucks. For sure. Better than, well, we have tried the prep because they had no ice. No, but I'm excited to try the Blank Street one normal. Because last week I only had the blueberry one. Yeah, it's about Blank Street. So, yeah, so I'm excited to try the ordinary vanilla one. Are you all set to go? Yeah. 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 Yeah
I went to the one by like Liberties and it was like quite small. Claro. It was, I've never been to Liberties. It's like one of my favourite places to go, especially at Christmas because really? they have like a whole it? floor. It's just like um, Haber and Selfridges. Uh, yeah, but they've also got like a lot of home stuff, like a lot of rugs. Um, it's like really cool. Yeah, it's nice at Christmas. They have like a whole floor and it's just stunning in there. And it's all like very like wood and like, all the lifts are wood. And it's like very like grand. A bit like Harrods, eh? Right, it's a lot small, like right. But it's really nice there. Um, I really love it. So we're gonna try and like, we're not sure what we're doing. No, and I've got to tell you, we booked a slide for Winter Wonderland. I forgot, I just went, we're going to Winter Wonderland. We booked the, um, I don't know, it was five pound entry and five pound for the slide. We thought it was going to be like 15 pounds for the slide. I was like, I said to Joe, like, one of us get tickets, one of us get Winter Wonderland, thinking it would sound like, I've paid 80 pounds for tickets, she's paid 20 pounds. I'm sorry. I'll have to pick up the lunch bill, hey? I thought, I thought, yeah, you know. I knew that the entry was cheap, but I always think, like, the entry's cheap because everything's so expensive. Yeah, the only thing going to bring us up is food and drink now. Yeah. It's like, just cheap, but again, it is really, especially if you've got kids, I bet not when kids are free, like, they have a certain I'm not sure, but five pounds, like, and you could just go in and have a little wonder. Yeah, and like, you don't have to, you can take your own snacks in, like, if you want. Yeah, for sure, you can take sandwiches, little packed lunch. And we've got no cloud. Oh, that's so cute. There's a science and there's always someone who cares for you. That's so nice um, and true. No, what I was going to say, we've got no set plans up. We're thinking of like getting, filling ourselves up for it a day and then like grabbing like the takeaway from yeah. the train home. Like, Look I might nice even get another yeah, nice. takeaway. Yeah, I'm like, no, no. Whereas Jones could probably get a get a tour to you. And like, I'm just excited, you know. Yeah, there's just no set plan. No pressure. Just two young girls going to explore the, the capital of the year. Literally, it's just the max, really. <laughs> Where well, should we, we go then? What time are we going to We're going to turn something like. <laughs> so, what time should we get? <laughs> Why not call it? We've got no corners in no. most. Oh, it's, it's so busy. I'm glad we've got a seat. It's because everyone's going to explore. Do you think people are booking like time off work and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I've been like the here. week off before Christmas, so I broke up on like the 12th. Yeah, yeah. that's the best you can do if you can. There's a lot of people on here with like Christmas jumpers. <laughs> It's a yeah, yeah. Mick Festival. So, yeah, so question. Okay. Does Matcha have caffeine? Yeah. yeah. So should well, we the Starbucks one does. I don't know about this one. But Starbucks one does because I asked for it in decaf and he, he said to me, it naturally has it in our powder. Also, I found out how to turn the lock. Oh, brilliant. The, um, the locking thing for the internet. Okay. Yes, it does. So, on average, a cup of matcha contains about 70 milligrams of caffeine in comparison to 100 to 140 in a cup of coffee. So, yeah, I'll be in there. And it's so, yeah, it's just perky, but it's just less than coffee. So, yeah, we'll pick it up when we're there, but we've got a little bit of a train journey ahead of us. Bye. Hello. Where? La Mia. Oh, Italian again. Yeah, first deli run by real Italian mamas. Oh, there's an... La um, Mia. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> butchers. <laughs> right, we got we got the tube to Notting Hill and then we just walked down. What's this this isn't Portobello. The superfood bar. Road. Is it a side? No. It looks a bit like the one that we I took you to before so pretty here we're literally obsessed like all the houses are so stunning but we're gonna try and find somewhere to eat first okay it's getting a little bit busy now it's so cute these are our current scenes oh yeah it looks a bit like where i took you doesn't it yeah looks like the same like donut oh no that's the next one look a cute little coffee shop that looks really cute look dude wow guys look at all of the donuts it's the daisel half hassle half one for me the Lotus Biscoff. Obsessed. Oh, this is the bookshop. Guys, let's do some sightseeing. This is the bookshop. Winnie the Pooh at the Palace. Wow. That's so cool. Look, Harry Potter. Yeah, me too. Wow. 
Oh my god, everywhere is so cute! No. Look at that. Do you see book? Nowhere. Oh, they're all looking great. I love this. So festive and cute. That is the cutest shop I've ever seen. No. Just says show me which. Is it Turn your. Oh no, look, we have to pay. £50. £50? I thought it was a little on the street activity. <laughs> it was a free fun activity. I thought we were getting to know what house we were in then. Gryffindor. Yeah, I'd like Slytherin. to hope. Slytherin. <laughs> no. Okay, we found this really cute brunch spot. It's called Blue Bell. Blue Bells, but like Belles. Yeah, like um, Belles. It's still on Portobello Road, but like further off. And it's opposite this really cute floral studio. Like, look how cute everything is. And then there's also like a nail shop over there. Oh. That is literally the cutest flower shop I've ever seen. So we ordered quite a bit. So Mia got a vanilla iced. I got a chai and it's such a good chai. Just smell it because I know you hate it. But that just proves that it's a good one. When Mia hates it, it's good. And it's got like frothy milk. It's really nice. So we got a cheese toasty, a bacon sandwich. Um, what else did we get? Halloumi chips. chips. We can't like, we're carving it up today. We'll it's Christmas, it's December. And like this woman on the train said, calorie, Christmas calories don't count. And that Facts. is our mood. I'm just moving you back. A woman just walked past and was like, girls, be careful with your bag. I feel like we should just listen to them. She was alone to us. Yeah. She had two little Bichon freezes. So we're keeping our expensive bags away. <laughs> <laughs> they're both fake. No, the best thing is if they did steal it, I'd be like, Pfft. yeah, fuck you. Yeah, like what they're gonna do with that? Yeah, they're not gonna not sell that to anyone because yeah, they would be even... like, that's not actually. No, real. I mean, if you, but imagine if someone thought it was, I'd be like, slay. Slay. <laughs> yeah, if that was worth robbing. <laughs> yeah. <way. laughs> Don't even know where that's from. Jokes on you. People always ask about jukes, but I was in my jupe for a couple of years. Me so was really in now, my jupe. No, but you've just got a good arc, are you? I've got a good amount. Like I don't like, uh, and now I'd probably just buy them like real ones, you yeah. know. Like well, it, today I, I was like, I don't want to take my Louis Vuitton bag. Like it just scares me. So I was like, can I have the jupe? <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Works it's all right. right. Still get the vibe of the eight foot, but you know, without the security issues. Yeah, exactly. But I always say, I said this to my brother recently because he had a mishap with a designer piece of clothing. I said, if you're gonna buy something, you have to accept that if it got lost or stolen or ruined. Twisty. Oh, thank you so thank much. You. <gasps> that looks incredible. That looks so thank, thank you so I'm much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Wow. <gasps> it's got like pun oh, on little crisps. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to get all shitty. Mm -hmm. Got crisps. I've got crisps. crisps. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, no. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank God that was it's a mummy. Fifty, literally. No, that looks incredible. I do That's have to say so. Film. Sorry, just to finish the story. If you buy something designer, you have to accept that if it got lost, stolen, or ruined, you can rebuy it or be fine with the fact you've spent the money and lost it. You know. Yeah. Whereas, like for me, like. That's why sometimes dupes are good, especially yeah. like because it's, it's not you, it's not an investment piece, and like I'm never gonna be like, oh. yeah, like I ruined it. Yeah, I or... care so much, like I don't care, and I don't yeah. want you know. Maybe when I'm older and I'm like I could replace it yes. straight away. Whereas yeah. right now I can't. That's yeah. what that's what I always think. Like it's nice to treat yourself, but you just have to be, you know, aware. Anyway, we're not on the podcast, are we? So yeah, what are we doing? Waffling on, <laughs> waffling on to the poor girls. Um, okay, we're gonna eat anyway. This looks still good. Okay, I'm not being dramatic, but this is insane. Look at that. That coffee's really good. Should we try it? Really? Just the perfect amount of sweet coffee for me. No, I can get more. You like that? that. Nice, isn't it? That. Girl, look at these. You need to come here and try. I'm obsessed with that. I would never use okay, that. Nice. Who likes our earmuffs? I got peach. They're like a peachy nude, and Mia got pink. They look very oversized. They were probably very. Um, we paid twelve pounds for them. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I feel like it was low. Chorus girls, but it's fine. Oh, I want to see them in the flesh. Oh, here, guys, look at these. They're really cute. Oh, oh so my god, these. I love them. gorge. Love them. They're really nice. Like a sage green. One, yeah, normal one five five. We've also got the chocolate ones. We're in office, by the way. Have they got the bread? Oh, those ones. I do like them. 
Wait, do you really like? Yeah, the pink are lovely. But is it just because I'm wearing pink? Yeah, literally. You're going to want everything pink. That's what I mean, just because I've got pink on. Right, I'm putting them on my bag. Oh, Can you turn on the smell? Yeah, that's nice too. Cool. You know what's weird? To be in here with no music on. Yeah, well, it's lovely. Yeah. It's really I can nice. just really get the camera out where I was like, oh, for the streets, like, do, do, do. Hmm, new new balance. Those are kind of like ours, but a bit darker. And they are cute to me. Guys. Music died. OOTs of the <laughs> OOTs of the day. Hang on a second. Outfits of the day. Okay, Mildred off the Okay. So, pink scarf is Primark. Primark coat, uh, Adenola top, grey joggers, Uggs, and then a little pink Prada, like gay bags, boohoo jogs, or oh, we've got the design shoe here on top. Yeah. Oh, never mind, not. Boohoo, these are kind of the label. Sorry for lying. Oh, very much. Yeah. Um, I've got my PLT card on. It's got a Barry's coat, just from the scarf, and his bag. Those are our outfits. Lovely girls. Absolutely. Try and get a little. Guys, let us know if you've tried the food from here. Large ice vanilla matcha. A large ice blueberry matcha. Okay, guys, we're going to win a one. We're nearly here. We're just so we're literally excited. Outside. Yeah, we're, this is literally it. I'm so excited. We've got to Hyde Park. We've got the tube. We've got a blank street. I got a blueberry mirror. Just got normal. And it was really good. Yeah, because you've never not tried, tried the, the vanilla. What did you think? Really nice. It's just nice. an easy classic. If you don't want that pop of blue. Yes. I think it's just nice and like it's just a good match. We're finding all the good matches right now. No, we are. It. We're in our match era again. We it's January up. Yes. We're back in 2023. We really are. January. January. We're in code. And I can just see it happening. 100%. January 2024. 100. <laughs> percent I can see it happening now. No, me too. I, so I wasn't so sure a couple of months ago. I thought, will we ever get back on yes. that? But and now no, I'm like. We will. We've also changed our scarf and our hair. Oh, yes. We've claw clipped ourselves off. I've lost half my scarf. That's here. Thank you. <laughs> We've claw so clipped much. ourselves up. We've yeah, secured our scarf. Hair. And we're, we're feeling, feeling more, more um, just a bit more free yeah it's hard with the long hair and the scarf and the fur coat it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff going on so yeah we'll nice get in to there. know the scarf's not going to keep falling off yeah you know oh there's different gates and everything yeah i need to check which gate we are but yeah we're excited okay here we go it's already popped up for us sea tickets <gasps> okay um what gate are we jokes isn't it so it doesn't say. Uh, do you reckon they get a lot of custom the little gate, the little food places out here? I don't know about outside. I guess people waiting to go in, waiting for their time slot. I don't know. Um, but we'll see when we're in there. My bed have a seat in late night, standing alone. <laughs> Guys, we booked the ice side. It looks so serious everyone. Oh, people are wearing their bags. That lady had a bag. Did you put on your lap? She just had it crossbody. Oh, you always go crossbody, girls. You just have to hold it on your elbow like that. Um, oh, so we get two slides, that's what it says. Oh, so it doesn't matter anyway. Does it? We wouldn't have been able to have much longer anyway. This is how it looks, though. Hi, slide. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> Don't try not to put it too tight. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> You've got a little thing on your watch. Like a like a like a horse rider. Ooh, sleigh. <laughs> I feel sick. We went on the water 
and then he just took the piss, I'm sorry. It was scary, I was like, please, stop now, stop spinning us. We feel it. He just didn't stop, like literally, I was like this. We don't feel We both f fell over, like on each other. You know what so we should bad. do? Oh, yeah, we should go that. Let's do that. Come on. I've really started. It could fail. Have I ever had it before? Um, no. Thank you, guys. I am home. That was a long day. I don't feel like as knackered as I like usually would. I just feel like. I can't wait to get my makeup off. The Primark bronzing drops did me so dirty. And like all here, like can you see, like it's all clung to where like my brow so like goes. So my advice would be, I'm just gonna take my makeup off using this. My advice would be don't wear them with makeup and like just be careful with them around your like brows and things, but honestly had such a fun day i'd give you guys like a um me and me like just rounded off the day sort of on her vlog so i hope you enjoyed seeing both of our vlogs and what we got up to but we just had a really honestly like wholesome day like it was really fun to explore somewhere new and not feel like pressured to like go to oxford street and just like shop you know because we do that a lot and it can be fun but it's also nice to like see somewhere new and just be like more um like not have the pressure of like going around the shops and carrying the shopping bags and it was just nicely something different and like winter wonderland was really fun but it's just a lot and i feel like but then there's like not that much still like once you've had a drink and gone on a ride and done an activity you're a bit like okay well what do i do now so but like it was still fun because i know me hadn't been for a few years so it's still like fun to experience it together but i am hungry i can't wait to get into bed with my boyfriend i missed him so much today and honestly just i'm gonna get into bed so that is gonna go ahead and conclude vlogmas i don't even know what day it is at this point but that is gonna go and conclude this vlog anyway i hope you guys really enjoyed spending the day with me and let me know if there's like any other like cities or places that you think are worth the visit this like festive season and i will add it to the list of things that i want to do this month with you guys so i love you so much thank you for watching and supporting and sticking with me i also announced the giveaway winner today i just like replied to their comment on youtube i think that's like the best way to do it so um i just asked them to dm me on instagram and that's just how it will go like be going forward so there'll be another giveaway in sunday's video so stay tuned for that i love you guys so much and i will see you tomorrow with another episode of vlogmas Love you, girl. Bye.